Mr. Dorsey's music world. We're singing in history and musical literacy. Mr. Dorsey's music world. We're living the dream starts here. Hi, and welcome to Mr. Dorsey's Music World first grade music lesson number six. What are we going to do today? Let's find out. We're going to be working on several activities today. After we warm up our voice with a pitch exploration, our movement activity is My Hat, It Has Three Corners. Our call and response song is an old sailor song called Boney Was a Warrior. Our beat motion is Bounce High, Bounce Low. We're going to play a Keep the Beat game. Our song for today is Jubilee. We're going to move to Anitra's dance. We're going to create in Singing Park. And finally, we're going to do some more music literacy activities with So and Me. Okay, let's follow the line with our voice. Let's try it. Ooh. My hat, it has three corners, three corners has my hat, and had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. Echo after me. My hat, it has three corners, three corners has my hat, and had it not three corners. It would not be my hat. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners. It would not be my hat. Okay, let's try it together. One, two, ready and sing. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners. It would not be my hat. Now, there's a game that goes with this that's a lot of fun. You have to sing the song several times. Well, that's easy, Mr. Dorsey. Wait. The first time you sing it all together, you sing all the lyrics or the words. The second time, you take out a word and you have to sing all the words except for that word. I'm going to sing the song the way the game is supposed to be played. And you follow along. And what you should probably do is go back and watch this section a couple times. Because the more you do it, the easier it will get. Okay? Here we go. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners... It would not be my hat. My hat, it has corners. Corners has my hat. And had it not corners, it would not be my hat. My hat, it has... Has my hat. And had it not, it would not be my hat. My, it has, has my, and had it not, 
It would not be my. It has. Has. And had it not. It would not be. <laughs> All right, so go back and do this section a couple times and see how good you get at it. <laughs> Boney was a warrior. Way up. A warrior and a terrier. John Francois. Boney fought the Russians. Way up. The Russians and the Prussians. John Francois. Boney went to Waterloo. Way up. And there he got his overthrew. John Francois. Driver, Captain Driver. Way up. Driver, Captain Driver. John Francois. So the song you just heard is called Boney Was a Warrior. And Boney was a man who was named Napoleon Bonaparte. Here's a picture of him. Napoleon was a military leader and the emperor of France for about 15 years or so back in the 1800s. And he tried to take over the world pretty much, but he wasn't successful. And this is a sea shanty, or song that sailors used to sing, on boats. And it kind of tells the story of Napoleon. And they call him Boney, because his last name is Bonaparte. So they're obviously making fun of him, so they don't really like him that much. Okay, so let's do the song. Two responses in this song. So the first time I sing Boney Was a Warrior, you're going to sing, way Way ya, but you're gonna do it in three syllables or three sounds. Way ya. Now, the second time I sing something, you respond with Jean Francois. Jean Francois. Yeah, that's a name. So, Boney was a warrior. A warrior and a terrier, John Francois. Okay, now let's go back and watch the video again, and you go with the response that Mr. Dorsey on the right does. Okay? Let's have some fun. Boney was a warrior, way up. A warrior and a terrier, John Francois. Boney fought the Russians, way up. The Russians and the Prussians, John Francois. Boney went to Waterloo, way up. And there he got his overthrew, John Francois. Driver, Captain Driver, way Driver, Captain Driver, John Francois. Bounce, high, bounce, low, bounce the ball to Shiloh. Bounce, high, bounce, low, bounce the ball to Shiloh. So this is our beat motion song for today, Bounce High, Bounce Low. So... It's pretty self-explanatory. Bounce high, bounce low, you're going to bounce something, probably a ball. Shiloh is a boy's name. It's a Hebrew word that means peace. Like peace, like being nice to each other, not a piece of cake. Although that would have been good too. All right, so let's learn this, and then I'll show you how to play this game. Bounce high. Bounce low, bounce the ball to Shiloh. Okay, echo after me again. Bounce high, bounce low, bounce the ball to Shiloh. Bounce high, bounce low. Bounce the ball to Shiloh. 
Okay, now let's sing it together two times. One, two, ready and sing. Bounce high, bounce low. Bounce the ball to Shiloh. Bounce high, bounce low. Bounce the ball to Shiloh. Okay, so I have a rubber ball, but of course I've just found out that this ball does not bounce too well. <laughs> oh boy. So, how you would normally play this game is you would drop the ball. You wouldn't, right, you're going to let it bounce. And the next person on the bounce would pick it up. Now to play it by yourself, obviously, you would just... You could bounce it to yourself. So if you have a rubber ball or something, on the word bounce, you drop it. Bounce high, bounce low, bounce the ball to shy. And then on the word shy, low. So that's on the beat. So again, <laughs> I can't really, uh, can't really demonstrate it for you. And I don't have any more bouncy balls. And of course, with uh, COVID-19, can't really go out to a store and get one right now so we're just gonna have to pretend that uh, we're able to do this right all right oh boy so here we go bounce high bounce low bounce the ball to shy low bounce high bounce low bounce the ball to shy low Oh boy. All right. Let's keep going. It's time to stand up and move. When you are playing the Keeping the Beat game, remember that while the music is playing, you can move around however you want. However, when the music stops, you need to keep the beat by clapping your hands. The music of the Appalachian Mountains has its origins in the music of the British Isles, Ireland, England, Scotland, and Wales. These were the original settlers of the Appalachian Mountains from Europe. The introduction of African Americans to the Appalachian Mountains in the late 1700s changed everything. Melding the music of the British Isles with African rhythms, call and response style, and the instrument that eventually became known as the banjo, which is an African instrument, made Appalachian music uniquely American. Mr. Dorsey's Music World History Minute. It's all out on the old railroad. It's all out on the sea. It's all out on the old railroad, far as I can see. Swing and turn, jubilee, live and learn, jubilee. That is the first verse and refrain to Jubilee, which is an Appalachian Mountain song. Let me teach that to you now, and then I'll show you the whole song. Echo after me, it's all out on the old railroad. It's all out on the sea. 
It's all out on the old railroad. Far as I can see. Swing and turn jubilees. Live and learn jubilee. Okay, let's try it together. <clears throat> One, two, ready and sing. It's all out on the old railroad. It's all out on the sea. It's all out on the old railroad. Far as I can see. Swing and turn jubilee. Live and learn jubilee. Okay, so now I'm going to do the whole song. There's a second verse and a third verse. So... Again, I would just go through this part of the video a couple times and over a couple days and you'll get it. It's all out on the old railroad, it's all out on the sea. It's all out on the old railroad, far as I can see. Swing and turn. singing park it's such a place to see come along and sing along with all your friends and me welcome to singing park where you can only sing Watch this video for today's question and examples about how to answer it. 
What is your favorite animal? A cat. What is your favorite animal? I like cats. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a cat. What is your favorite animal? I like cats. I have two cats at home and I like to pet them. So as you are trying this at home, if you can only do a one or two word answer right now, that's fine. But try to work up to a full sentence or even longer. Because the better you do it, the smarter you'll get. Now it's your turn to answer what is your favorite animal. I'm going to ask it four times so that you can practice coming up with different answers. You can use the same animal, but try to make your answers different and longer, different ways of saying it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what is your favorite animal? 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 Great job, boys and girls. It's time to move on. Mr. Dorsey's Music World Literacy Lesson Let's take a look at these musical patterns. We have So and Me, and we've added rhythm to it. Quarter notes, two eighth notes, and quarter rest because melody without rhythm would be really boring. Learning how to read music is just like learning how to read words, the letters of the alphabet, etc. We need to make sure that you can hear the patterns and you're making that ear and eye connection with the pattern that you are seeing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over each pattern twice. While I'm singing it, you should be looking at that pattern and making that connection. And then when you echo it back to me, you look at it while you echo it back to me. This is what's going to help. Also doing this part two or three times is really going to solidify your learning. So me, so me, so me, so me, so 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 so me. So, so, me, 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 so, me, me, so, so, me, so, so, me, 
so me, so so me. So so me me. So so me me. So me so. So me so. Me so me. That's it for Mr. Dorsey's Music World today. Remember that living the dream starts here. Take care. Mr. Dorsey's Music World. The singing in history and musical literacy. Mr. Dorsey's Music World. Where living the dream starts here.